Hey, what's up, Culture Drop? I am Galen. This video is about attracting and retaining talent. Something you may have, you know, I don't know, heard about, care about. Yeah. I woke up feeling like I just might run for president. Uh. Okay, so what I wanna talk about is like, what the hell? Um, is going on out there right now in the labor market with people leaving jobs and retention and like all of the things that are happening. And as I see it, this is what's happening. The game has changed in terms of retaining, attracting talent, and what it takes in terms of like the dynamics of employee experience and the, the things that cause high performing, highly engaged teams that like reduce turnover. Right now, uh, it just, we, it is a buyer's market out there. So in the past, historically, right, companies interview employees and be like, why don't you tell us why we'd hire you? Why, why, would, why should we hire you? And like now employees are coming to companies being like, yeah, why would I work for you? It's just a buyer's market. And so the days of people coming in and begging your company to work for you are like, nope. People are like, they have options. People are also sort of like, through the pandemic, whatever, has like, have reached a threshold where they like, they just don't have any last to give about working for leaders, companies that are toxic, that have terrible culture, where they are mistreated and like just, it just, people are just, they're kind of done with it. So what you can be doing about this and what organizations and companies need to be doing about this, which is the same thing I have been like, you know, not to brag, but ringing the same bell for years and years and years is to elevate and prioritize employee experience and culture. Just like as an analogy, back in this sort of like dot com boom days and Amazon, like all this stuff is like the way that organizations were winning was to become obsessed with them, with customer experience, right? To be focused on what do customers need, what what do they what doesn't exist that we can give to them that they absolutely want, uh, that they need, and organizations that have won historically with. You know, just what we've seen over the last like 10, 15 years of, of commerce and business is that like those companies came out on top of giving customers exactly what they want, how they want it. Not this old school, like if you want to do business with us, these are our operating hours and like this is how you can engage with us. Companies coming in to be like, okay, cool, that's fine. But if you want this done this way, this is how to do it, right? Lyft, Uber, I mean, all of the disruption industry was just like, if we put the customers at the forefront of everything that we're delivering in terms of a service and give them exactly what they need, how they want it, then like we will win in business. So the parallel here is that organizations and companies need to become obsessed with employee experience. What does it feel like to work for your company? How are they treated by their coworkers? How are they treated by their management and leadership? Do you care? Do you celebrate people? Do you like, right? It's like, are you being obsessed with what it feels like to work for your company from the very beginning? in the hiring process, in the onboarding process, right? And how they're given uh, feedback and coaching and like every part of the experience in terms of what, would, what does it feel like to work for this company and contribute time and energy and effort to this organization to help make this organization successful? What does that feel like for me? Um, and you need to be thinking and prioritizing that and being aware of it. And the way to do that is through creating really intentional tactical culture, right? To be thinking about rewards and recognitions, to get creative, to be doing things that organizations have never done before. And lots of companies are doing all kinds of creative, interesting things about like benefits packages and all like health like healthcare stuff, but like childcare, like there's just things where we're like, if we were to really truly 100% prioritize employee experience, what would that look like? What creative things that we've never even heard of but that like would be great for employees to have as a benefit from working for us and helping to make our company successful? Are we doing those things? Are we prioritizing that? Are we taking the resources that we have, the the money that we have, are we reinvesting it in our people and the culture experience, experience of our people um, to prioritize them? Because like, it's just true is that it is a buyer's market. It is a jungle out there. And if you want to survive, uh, you want to attract, you want to retain great people and like actually get them to work for you and keep the ones that you have that are great, you need to like level up and change the game, change your mindset about like how are we prioritizing the people who are doing the work to make our company successful. That is so important and like that's what's happening right now. Uh, and you either step it up or get left behind. Uh, so yeah, step it up, be awesome. The game has changed when it comes to, I don't know. <laughs> what, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're done. That's it. I'm done. I'm out of here.
Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, we put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.